welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching Babylon 5 Season 3, Episode 22, the Season 3 finale. A lot happened last episode, but we're focusing on one thing, and one thing alone. Sheridan's wife is alive. It's probably, most likely, pretty sure, about 110% sure, she is working with the Shadow, whether it's by choice or coercion i don't know but she showed up during sheridan and delin's little three-day watch you sleep we're about to get it on fest ruins everything delin drops a snow globe which is one of the visions one of the things we've seen and it's all coming to pass and shit's about to get real and i don't like it i don't like it Things were going too good. Can't just let us be happy, can they? No, they cannot. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just get in to this episode. See how season three ends. Once again, this is Babylon 5. So I know they're not wrapping up anything really because that's just not how Babylon 5 works. But hopefully we'll get closer to some answers. Maybe a few more questions will be raised. I do not know, but I really want to find out. So please come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. A little anxious, a little ticked off at the dead wife showing back up. But let's get into it. The humans have a phrase. What is best is prologue. I thought it was going to be humans have a saying. What is best in life? <laughs> to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, hear the limitations of the women. <laughs> uh, uh, that's my mindset going into this. Full on Conan mode. Oh, my goodness. Zahadum. Zahadum, yeah. That's where you die, Sheridan. That's where you die. And Kosh will not be there to save you because he's dead. Hello. You must be Delenn. I'm Anna Sheridan, John's wife. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, what the hell? You're alive. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> After five years, that's the best that you can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You interrupted my, uh, Though under the circumstances, I can understand. You interrupted my Mimbari time. I thought you were dead. You mean she didn't... She didn't tell you? Who? Well, that is interesting. How can you be sure if it's really me? Yes. And for all you know, for all she told you, I could be some thing. Who told you? To like and you're wearing all black. <laughs> He is shook. What it's all about. What it's really all about. I can do that. She's evil. All you have to do is come with me. Throw that bitch out of airlock. Where? Zahadum. To Zahadum. You know where that leads. You know where that leads. Every piece of equipment I've got says that's your wife. Anna died at Zahadoom. Well, she looks pretty lively to me. You and Kosh came to my quarters. You showed me images from Zahadoom of Anna and the crew of the Icarus waking up the shadows. You gave me every reason to believe she was dead. Those who would not serve the shadows were killed. That we knew without question. So she serves the shadow. You assumed she would not serve. Perhaps we were wrong. I trusted you, don't Oh, remember. come on, dude. I cared for you. I let myself start to love you. Do you know what that means? Do you know how hard that was for me? You must believe me. I didn't know she was alive. I do believe we you. We assumed that she had died with the rest yes, of the Yes, John. Bunkers, that only Morden had survived. I do love you. If you believe nothing else I ever say, please, please believe that. The least you can do is tell me what's wrong. 
Oh, God, fear. I have been promoted. I have been offered a position in the royal court as an advisor to Emperor Katagia in matters of planetary security. This is great news. Why would you be upset? Because it should have come to me 20 years ago when I could have appreciated it. <laughs> because it wasn't given to me because I earned no. it. They are, I think, afraid of me. Probably. I was sent by our mutual associates. I have a message. You must leave the station at once. If you won't go, I can't be responsible. But if you value your life, they're gonna blow up Babylon Five quickly. Been on Zahadum all these years. Mm -hmm. Doing what? After all, Shadow time, orgies. I come back now. You know the usual. I can't tell you that, but now I'm back, John. And I've come to take you back with me. So you can see for yourself. So they can tell you what this is about. What it's really all about. It's time to learn the truth. Maybe it is time. <sighs> they know. Captain. I heard about, well, I heard about Anna. Anything I can do? No, thank you. That situation is well in hand. But there is something you can do on another matter. I need a few things taken care of. It's all here. You will, of course, keep this confidential. These days, what around here isn't confidential. I'll take care of. What is it? Son of a bitch. It's against regulations to address a senior officer in those terms, Mr. Garibaldi. <laughs> now I need you to take care of this for me. No questions, no speculations, no hunches, or educated guesses. All right. Yes, sir. And when I see you next, if everything is said, we'll talk about the weather. Code word, yes, weather. Hot? Is it cold? Is it raining? Is it pouring? Is an old man a snoring? Yes. And Kosh will die with you. What is left of him is in you. Com system, I want to record a time delayed message for Ambassador Delay. I uh, heard a weather report from Earth. They've had a late winter, but it finally started snowing in New York. Well, it must be very pretty there this time of year. Yes, sir. Must be. <laughs> this is tense. Next stop, Zahadu. What if he loaded that ship up with those bombs? And he's going, he, he, he's freaking, oh. He's doing a kamikaze run, son. Oh, shit. He's doing a kamikaze run. He's going to blow up the whole damn planet with himself. Oh. <laughs> oh, I could be completely wrong, but I'm excited at the prospect. Captain, I think you already know. Yes. Hello, Captain. <laughs> I'll Have beat the shit out of you, Please. dude. Who well, are you? Think of me as a sort of middleman. And the name... Stop. Oh, it's the message. Authorization needed to deliver time delay message recorded by Captain Sheridan. Do you accept? Yes. I can pretty much guess your reaction when you hear this, but I think it's the only way. When you and I were in the time rift with Babylon 4, for a moment, I jumped forward in time. We'd won the war, but Centauri Prime had been devastated. You said that this future couldn't be changed. You also told me... Do not go to Zahadum. Do you understand? Do not go to Zahadum! This is about more than what I want. So I'm going, even though I know it's almost certainly a trap. You see, John, back a million years ago, there were... 
forces prowling around the galaxy beyond anything that we could understand. Now, two of them stayed behind. Shepherds, you might call them. They wanted to look after the younger races, bring them around, help them evolve into something better. One of these was the Vorlons. The other was what you call the Shadows. Red alert! Red alert! All fighter squadrons launch, but do not approach until authorized to fire. Think about it, Captain. We've gone to the stars, split the atom, written sonnets. We never would have come this far if we hadn't been at each other's throats, evolving our way up. When you look at a Vorlon, you see what they want you to see. They've manipulated us so we'd respond favorably to them. They've even interfered at a genetic level, taking humans and, and adjusting them. A little bit, a little bit. But the only thing that's standing in our way now is you. So we can either work together now, or we can remove your support mechanism. I don't understand. They're just sitting there. This has got to have something to do with the captain, but what? What are they waiting for? Everything depends on getting join the us or we blow up Babylon 5. To create conflict in order to promote growth and evolution. So you can work with us, or or you'll do to me what you did to Anna. I don't know what you're oh, the memories are there, the voice is there, the DNA is there, but the personality. I look in her eyes, and the woman I love, the woman. I married isn't there. You see, when she came here five years ago, she was given a choice, the same choice that we're giving you. She made the mistake of choosing badly. You stuck her in one of those ships, didn't you? How did you know? A few months ago, we intercepted a ship full of people who were going to be merged with the shadow vessels. They had implants in the brainstem right back here. Scars in the back of her head are in exactly the same place. But we pulled her out as soon as we found out who she was and who you are. But once you've been inside of one of those ships for a while, you're never quite whole again to do what you're told. Commander! Jakar, good. Can we get those nuclear weapons outside where they can- They're all gone. Them? I'm afraid not. Holy smokes. The City of Shadow. Thermal fusion system armed for detonation. Finally, I heard what you said when I left. And I want you to know. I love you, Delenn. Can't believe they're gonna kill Sheridan. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Jump. Jump. No. Oh, jump. Jump into the pit. Listen to Kosh. power oh shit is he really no way no way he's gone we checked the fighter bays one of the fighters we sent out didn't come back garibaldi who was the pilot mr garibaldi son of a bitch garibaldi's gone wrote, sheridan's gone there is a greater darkness than the one we fight it is the darkness 
greater than the death of flesh is the death of hope. The death of dreams. They better not. Against this peril, we can't. Oh, they took survive. Garibaldi. The future you mother is humpers. Us, waiting in moments of transition to be born in moments of revelation. I wonder if Sheridan survives and becomes a minion of the shadow. In pain. I have been falling for 30 minutes. I don't know. What the hell kind of ending is that? It's a Babylon 5 ending is what it is. I freaking love it. <laughs> Ooh, that was intense. That was intense. Be right back with you. That was Babylon 5 season 3 episode 22. Who Sheridan is dead? Maybe Kosh told him to jump for a reason, but we were told he dies on Zohadum. And I think he did die. Or will he be reborn as a shadow puppet? And will he be unearthed as the new villain of season four? Or is he truly dead and Sheridan's gone? I I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Garibaldi. Taken by the shadow for what purpose? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was really damn good though. <laughs> I don't know what I just watched or what's going to happen, but I know it was great. <sighs> uh, Babylon freaking five. Babylon freaking five. Babylon freaking five. I'm going to be on vacation. I won't get to watch Babylon 5 again until like, for like seven, eight, nine days. Son of a bitch. I want to know what happens. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. So yeah, my predictions, 50, 50 chance Sheridan is dead or Sheridan will now be working with the shadow. 50-50 could go either way. Got no idea what's going on with Garibaldi and why he was taken. I'm assuming Ivanova will be made captain of Babylon 5, which would be awesome. She deserves it. Uh, Franklin, she will be an awesome doctor next season. He's finally worked his shit out. The guy from Greece, I guess, will be the new head of security. Uh, Delin will be heartbroken. Obviously, she lost the love of her life. And uh, yeah, next season's going to be even crazier than the previous season. I don't know. I don't I don't even know what to say, folks. I love Babylon 5. That's how I will end this. I love Babylon 5. You love it as well. Continue to come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. This is mega excited to be watching such an amazing show and signing off.